Okay, once you log into your account on um, Thinkorswim, uh, just go to the charts. In this white box, you just type in the symbol. Here I've already typed in the Dow Jones Industrial Average, and I'm using a daily chart. All right. And the question was, well, how, how do you draw the Fibonacci retracements? Just go to where it says Drawings, pull that up, scroll down to Fibonacci retracements, click it, and you'll get a little pencil. And then from there, you could use whatever points you want. So let's use the most uh, recent high of uh, July 21st. So I'll use that as my first point. I'll click that once. All right, and then I could drag to my low. Let's just use the 10,404 low. Click it again, and then your retracement levels are set. Now, you could also come over here and open the chart in its own window. So I'm going to do that. Click here once, and then go to the uh, green round button to expand it and then I get a better view. You could also highlight it or go again and click on the magnifying glass and here we notice uh, the high back on July 21st and then the low on it looks like October 4th market rebounds, goes through the, um, hits a lot of resistance at the 50% retracement, but breaks through, also breaks through the 61.8, and then uh, hits uh, some resistance at the 78.6, comes back through the 50% retracement, and, um, but use, but find support around the 38.2, and it looks like it's trying to uh, retest the, uh, the, the 78.6 retracement. So again, the Fibonacci retracements are just to give you an idea as far as trend and um, and how far is the market rebounding. Um, obviously, if it does break through the 78.6 retracement, it's uh, some the probability is that at least going to retest the previous high of the. Um, July 21st are, are good. The probabilities are good. Um, again, nothing's ever set in stone, but again, it's just another tool that you can use. If you want to draw another retracement, you can. Uh, you could just draw it right, right over the, uh, the existing uh, retracement, or you could actually erase the one that you have on first. So you could just go to Drawings again, scroll all the way down to Delete Drawings, and then you'll see another window pop up go up to Fibonacci retracements, click that, and then it'll give you a window that says, do you really want to delete all Fibonacci retracements? In this case, I'm going to click yes. And there you go. The uh, Fibonacci retracements have uh, just disappeared. So go ahead and, you know, you really can't go wrong. Uh, if you mess up, you could always delete it. And uh, just experiment with it. And uh, happy trading.